everybody, welcome back to the world of South Park, the fractured butthole, and welcome back to the dojo here on Rage Light. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mike. And uh, Mike, you, what we're doing today, we're doing something very special. We're going to play the first actual story DLC for South Park, From Dust Till Casa Bonita. I like that name a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there was some stuff that was happening uh, this week, but eh, this week was kind of light as far as like other interesting games go. Uh, and I was like, hell yeah, man, a reason to go back to South Park. So I appreciate the gag that the bus is named DLC. <laughs> oh, yeah. Epic artifacts, DNA, costumes, recipes, and other select items earned and from Dustal Caspanita applied to previous and future save data. Okay. So I think uh, this is... Oh, 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 all my, all my buddies got taken away. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I this is actually weird because this is a new game plus, essentially. Um, I I played through the game, and then when I got done, I went back and basically got the ability to play more. Um, oh, okay. Uh, and so I went back through the game up to a certain point. Uh, but I've got all the stuff. Like I, you know, I got. I, did you did you hear what Casa Bonita has to do because of South Park? What uh, is Casa Bonita a real place? Casa Bonita is a real restaurant. What? No. And so what it is is that whenever they air the Casa Bonita episode, uh -huh. they prepare more workers because they know they're gonna hey, get busy. Over here. Oh, hey, it's Mysterion. Hey, Mysterion. Did you not know Casa Bonita is a real place? No. Well, they don't have him here. Well, no. It's just that like it's it's something I discovered like as time went on. But yeah, they actually have to look at the schedule. To be sure that they're not going to air an episode of Casa Bonita, so they they don't they know they're not going to get busy basically. Okay, it's amazing, like the fact that they still have to do that to this day. Wait, why do the vampires like to go to Casa Bonita? Everyone likes Casa Bonita apparently. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Front the vampire kids. Um. <laughs> uh oh. Oh shit! What? What am I doing? Oh yeah. Am You're... I turning into Nether Realm, Butt Lord? What? Oh. oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a new class. Oh Nether Born. Oh nice. What? Regeneration. Okay. Oh wait. That's actually kind of a cool name, actually. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see what the Nether Born's got. Ghastly grasp. Okay. What is it? Ranged attack that chains to nearby foes. Okay. What? Oh, motherfuckers! Oh, that's damn. Kind of, that's that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was pretty. It'll chain to all adjacent enemies. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that is pretty cool. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> they're like the they're like the fourth graders. Okay. I love. I'm. I'm such a big fan as, of South Park and what they've done with these games. Uh, yeah. I. You know, it's funny because I feel like a lot of people didn't really like this one, uh, or didn't really like Fra Fracture But Whole. But I felt like it was. It wasn't quite as good as Stick of Truth. But I feel like that's just always a thing where. You know, it's a sequel, right? So yeah, absolutely. They, they did kind of up it, like buff. Well, not only that, the Stick of Truth oh, is okay. like no one like. When when the Stick of Truth came out, not a, a lot of us weren't sure what to think of it. Yeah, because because it's it was one of the first of its kind. Yeah, kind of thing. Like it's it's a very unique, like it's still an RPG, but it's what it it's it's its humor and its references to the series that make it unique. Yeah. Plus, I feel like the plus this one has more references to the newer seasons, which people just don't like in general. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, so here we go. Grim fate, chill foes, gain ungodly powers. Okay, let's see. Oh no! <laughs> what? Grim fate. Okay. Okay. So now, like, okay, we got like superpowers. I said to just like yeah, because it takes a knockback attack. You. Yeah. It, Jesus! Wow. That poor child. <laughs> he just wanted to go get some Mexican food. Some apparently not great Mexican food. Uh, cool. Well, I'm 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 really happy so far. I, we're five minutes in. Got to beat up some vampire kids. We've got the vampire elixir. 
uh, some broken vampire fangs, and a snapped poetry quill. Okay. Uh... Vampire Slayer. All right, Bud Ward, you're ready. Let's go inside and find Carol. <laughs> Casa okay. Bonita. Casa Bonita. Uh, you know, it's funny. I actually... Um, I haven't hated a lot of the current seasons of South Park as much as I feel like a few I other haven't people either. have. I, like the last season, I actually enjoyed quite a what bit. Was the, what was the last season? It was the one with uh, Mr. Garrison's presidency. Kind of cosplay wow, well, my cosplay. Oh, there's, there's yeah. Whole, like, the whole first episode is just kids getting run over by cars. <laughs> yeah, that one, I feel like that one had a lot of, that one had a lot of potential in episodes that it kind of wasted a little bit, but um, I don't know. I actually thought that... I'll never forgive myself. That the PC principal stuff, uh, I, I I thought that ep that season so was so was really fun. So um, it's very different is the main thing, and I, some people people just don't like change. I, yeah, that's true. That's really what it comes so down wait, to. Is sometimes. this all in Casa? Is this all in Casa Bonita? I'm not like the thing is like as far as I know, Casa Bonita is a real place, and pretty much everything they show in the episode is exactly what's in the actual place. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like. Like there's a whole wait oh whole thing about it here oh. and there. Uh oh. oh wait hold on is there a something going on over here? Okay, the grab. Okay. <laughs> ice. Yeah. We got some ice. Not you. I was trying to hit this. Uh, so was the old lady oh, I trying I to. I, I was a cashier once. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. We got dr drive along, three ticket stub. Hey, lady. I'm going to carbo load on Mexican food and then wreck at skeetball. You've been warned. Uh, all right, you do you. Oh. Oh, I'm totally getting a chocolate bandito. Chiquita, Chiquita the gorilla is a real life gorilla. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think this was like, what's this, 15 bucks? Is it? Uh, and they had like, so Somewhere. I feel like they're going to have two oh, story ones. Uh oh. Every person over the age of two must purchase a meal ticket at the register in order to experience the magic of Casa Bonita. <laughs> That's right. One ticket will get you authentic Mexican food, uh -huh. death-defying cliff divers, the world's famous Black Bart's Cave, and more. All for the low price of seven. It was a that was a really good episode of South Park. That's a fantastic episode. Uh, where come back when you have one of these tickets and all where he puts Butters in the junkyard because he just really wants to go to Casa Bonita. Yeah. So he tricks Butters into thinking the the apocalypse has happened. <laughs> okay, so I got to figure out a way to get get this lady out of the. Hey kid, there's a line. Okay. Oh, I know I put that coupon somewhere. So we got to figure out how to get get through the line to get to the cashier. No okay, way. so no um, button. how about is there a way to like make something happen on that spot? I know I put that coupon like the could, ice has to be used on something. Yeah, we can throw the we can do our fart throw. That doesn't really do a thing. I don't think you usually can't just clear people out with that. Um. Okay, we got a menu. Okay, maybe we, this is how we do it. Well, I'm gonna have to look it up. Vampires. Yeah, these are all real things, oh. apparently. We are gathered in evil. Oh, I wonder if you're gonna get the goth kids as your team in this one, because oh yeah, because they hate them, because they hate the vampires, which which created uh, one of the greatest songs in South Park, which is saying something, which is burn down, burn down, hot topic. That was a great episode. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, okay. Uh Man, yeah, the newest season of South Park was pretty pretty crazy. Oh wait, is he holding wait, hold on, can I like can I time stop and like take the coupon out of his hand? I'm not sure. Let's see. No, it doesn't appear so. Uh, maybe I can hit him in the hand. Hey, there okay. we go. Oh, okay. okay. So That's what him it him is. Then, yeah. Okay. That hit him. And then uh, let's wait for it to go down a little. Okay. Time stop. 
Grab that coupon. I'm so glad that I booted this up because I had totally forgotten how to do all this stuff um, before uh, bringing the game back up last night and taking a look at all this stuff. God, that smell. <laughs> hey, uh, we got a ticket. Can we go in? Yeah, sh sure. God, it smells like canned oysters. <laughs> Wait. Oh, look. There's something. Can we? Can we have gotten oh, this too? Come on. I'm trying to do my job. Like, wait. What is? What is all that about? Like, there's. I'm not sure. Do you, can you get the ladder to, to see if you can grab it? Uh, maybe. Let's see. I don't. I've never dragged anything in this game this far in one direction. You know, it is. No, I guess not. It is kind of cool that. Um, wait, hold on. Can we, can we, like, knock down the? No. I bet. I, maybe we're gonna have to come around like the back at some point. Um, it is kind of cool though that South Park, like, unlike a lot of other video game, even tie-in video game franchises, South Park has spent so long just creating so much stuff that like. There's so much of it to put into a game. Like, I almost felt like yeah. they put all of it into the first one, but then I feel like they still had stuff left to go. Wait, hold on. Is that Henrietta? Yeah, Henrietta, be on my team! Do yeah, I, I saw her right away. I talk right now? No. Ooh, a selfie? Uh, no. Okay, what about... I thought I saw another woman left. Oh, there's <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's Kyle and uh, uh, his cousin. The, he, the Dude, it's me. Mom, let's human go. Kite. Yeah, because there that's it was was it his birthday or whose birthday was it? Back to this universe to have dinner with my favorite aunt, uncle, and cousin. But Mexican food gives me heartburn, so I'm just eating the lettuce. <laughs> He's I still like I was actually hunger. I was actually doing a fight right before you showed up, and um, um, he just showed up in the background, really? and he was like, "It's I'm back and the human kite from another universe." And then like he just like he just fell over and was like, "Oh no, I fell!" And then he like just left, like <laughs> nothing. He just didn't do anything. Oh no. I, him. I was investigating an infestation of vampires here at Casa Bonita, but then one of them threw me in jail. I need your help. I need you to take a picture of me from my Instagram page while I'm in jail. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, asshole. I'll take a Come on, I'm not leaving without my commemorative photograph. <laughs> That's the only reason he's still there. The <laughs> okay. That's good. You gotta put it in front of that X. Is that. Yes, that's it, butthole. Wait. Well, well, it's got an X right in front of it. Well, so. yeah, but like, okay. So close. Come on, Pato. Uh, I can't move yeah, it. I can yeah. only move it back and forth. Okay, we'll try putting it like directly on top of the X. Like uh, a little more left, left, left. Uh, I think there, he there, says right there. Yeah, oh, come here. okay, there we go. And let's see. Should we do a? Uh, should we do is different moods? Okay, let's just. Well, uh, I was about to go under the other moods. <laughs> Put a nice filter on there. That's gonna look awesome on my Instagram. <laughs> Thanks, new kid. I know you're here to stop the vamp kids too. I want you to know I'm gonna do whatever I can to help. And then cool. he was gone. <laughs> oh no, he's on. He's on the team now. Oh, nice. Nice. All the right. Coon. The coon. <laughs> That's such the first time that episode happened. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, did the uh, did the did I get that sombrero? Yeah, was, you uh, picked it up as part of your thing. Oh uh, yeah, man. I'm a fucking, I'm a very sal salty necromancer at this point. Um, <laughs> wait, I remember else? when uh, Metal Gear Rising gave you uh, that mariachi outfit, and I just had to use it the whole rest of the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to, oh, oh, okay. Heck razor visage, and then do I get like a new, a new hairstyle? Wait. Vamp bangs. Yikes. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. I bet we'll be able to get, we'll be able to recruit. Let's see what's going. Soap of Pia's. Give me, give me one. Oh, okay. Honey, choice. Soap of Pia. This is uh, heals and slows, heals and slows a targeted team member. Boosts ultimate meter. Interesting. That's interesting. And then restores a moderate amount of health to a targeted team member. None of this is as good as I just need. Quality like so I already pie. have the recipe for like the really good tacos. So oh, okay. you, you guys, <laughs> like these are not as good. Um, all right, let's see what's what's in the what's in the Casa Bonita bathroom. Partially consumed gringo grande. Ugh, gross. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. God damn it. Forgot I, I hate this this <laughs> mini game, this dumb like Well it was also in the first one too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just it's it 
it's just gross. Like I just don't, I don't, I just don't really enjoy it all that much. It's, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Although from what I remember, it's the least creepy thing in this game. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, there's an achievement. I, you know, I, I the only thing. You know, for all the interesting things that they did with this, this game, does look like any Mexican bathroom. Or that Mexican that is true. That is true. Uh, it uh, Loco Luis's frequent buyer's card. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> um, of all the good things that they've done in this game, I feel like uh, the like the Yawai mission, like collecting forty of those motherfuckers, was just like that they could have given you the ability to be like, mark them on your map if you buy this expensive thing. As opposed to just having to like go to a guide and then like look up all the different places that they are. Oh, okay. um, let's see. What I got in here. Did that. Okay. This is all just kind of terrible. I don't really want to. Wait, no. I'd, if there's something in there. If there's treasure. Okay. Six Dallas. Cash. <laughs> I saw uh, there was a. Every size matters. What does that mean? Is that like a boob yeah, thing? Yeah, I think it's a boob thing. Oh, jeez. Is that what's in ladies' bathrooms? I, I don't He's know. He's putting like I motivational boob posters in ladies' bathrooms. Thank God for bottomless marks, right? Selfie! <laughs> I'm He's probably Aww. lost. He's probably the one who lost that card. <laughs> I want to see Blackboard's game, but it's temporarily closed. Oh, well, oh okay. Well, well then, let's okay. figure out why it's temporarily closed. Wait, who, who are these guys back here? It's just so many choices. Okay, just restaurant goers. Just needs a few minutes, and then we're back in business. Okay, that told us nothing. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, you just stole those people's stole, food. Stole somebody's sopapilla, man. I want the rest of this. I want the rest of this costume. That's what I really want. I don't want to be a necromancer. Or I want to be a, a bandito. Okay, let's see what we got going on up here. Okay, what's going on? You guys, you doing, doing some stuff? Oh. Uh, Having lived next to the border. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! The the rosy updo. Wait, hold on. We gotta we gotta put that on. Uh, let's see. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, oh, no, there it was. Too far. And wait, hold oh, on. You gotta take the hat off first. Yeah, uh, I just want to change the color. And then uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we gotta take the. Uh, let's take this off. That we could be, and let's take this hat off. Oh, oh beautiful! God. Oh boy! Talk about Casa Bonita. That's that's one Bonita uh, necromancer we got going on there. Uh, all right, let's see what's going on down here. Dude, it looks <laughs> like somebody I might have went to high school with. <laughs> um, all right, can we go back here? How about this video game? Nope. Go, so I got Black Bart's Cave. Are you able to get into the Luis's thing? Hey, don't make me break character, kid. Uh, yeah, the video game Vila. It does not appear. It's very strange. Yeah. I figured with that card you would have been able to. Uh, I bet it's part of. I, you know, we're 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 probably just belaboring the point here. We're supposed to be over here fucking with the with the goth kids or oh, with the. Yeah. Vampires, right? I don't even know where to begin. Uh, not like just doing every single goddamn thing. <laughs> Deluxe dinner coupon, mariachi youth camp pamphlet. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. waves. Great. Uh, wait, why is there a chapel? Or why is there like this? Like this like this nave or something? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, okay. It's locked. I think that's Whatever how you get is. into the to the waterfall or something. What do, what do you got, kid? There's some change. I throw some. Oh, here's Cartman. Uh, I doubt that thing in Butt Blaster Habanero Hot Sauce. Oh boy. Oh no. You better find a bathroom fast, new kid. Uh oh. Get to the toilet. Special All right. objective. Okay. Well, we know where the toilet is, so. Uh, there you're being timed here. Oh no. What happens if the timer runs out? I don't want to know. I kind of want to know. <laughs> oh no. Get to the bathroom. Oh, God. There. No. Ah. I half expected somebody to be in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Oh, the gravy train? Oh, Jesus. That's so fucking horrible. Oh, well, we went to win. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Matazuma Knights. Oh. Matazuma's Revenge. Oh, God. Hold the door. 
No. Try Man, to... we just had a conversation about. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, vigorous mole. Oh no. This is happening. This, this, this is, is this is this horrible. is going on. Oh my god. Before at least that was kind of the um, deuce rider. <laughs> Before it was more like. Like metaphor, kind of. Or yeah, no, or, yeah, or, or yeah. Some sort of, like the corn in the poop just happening. wave. Yeah, is really kind of disturbing. Oh my uh, god, shart fiesta. Oh my god, that what that is fucking happened? What does that mean? What is it? I don't. I don't. Oops, oh my god. See. Okay, we got ice. Chills drinks can also be used to give somebody in need of an ice pack. We got the meal ticket, right? And then. A bountiful gastric blend harvested in Casa Benita bathroom required ingredient for the minstrel of ruin. Oh, it's a it's a crafting thing that we probably don't have yet. Sure, yeah, that, uh, but that oh my god, the I can minstrel never that. of ruin. Ugh. I can I can never unsee that. <laughs> okay, Kyle, will you please be on my team? Joe, uh, gonna go online, right? Oh, okay, sure. Uh. <laughs> That just that doesn't look good for Mr. Bufowski. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice pit, kiddo. Sheila. Right, and then it's back to family meal time. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kyle's mom. <sighs> Kyle's mom's a big old bitch. All right. Beat up my mom again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think you have to do that in the main storyline at some point. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh shit! It's <laughs> it's that guy. <laughs> it's the guy from the police station. It's gonna be so cool. You're gonna love it. Did somebody say speech? I love that voice that he does. And Mike's stepdad. But my real passion is stand-up comedy. Who wants to? Oh, he's he's the vamp guy. He's a woman his own age. The end. That was the punchline. Okay, who wants a strawberry daiquiri? Oh my god. From the girl. I'm an angel. I'm here to save you, Karen. I won't let them turn you into one of them. Hey, kid, we're just trying to be friends with her. Fine. I'm just going to have to beat the crap out of you. <laughs> okay. I almost feel bad now. <laughs> ah, God, this is so weird. Extinguish them. They're getting and then he runs off. <laughs> uh, okay. First, we shall feast on your immortal life forces. Then take. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah. I was I was surprised when they actually showed this game off on the Nintendo Direct. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. They're like, else? it's vulgar. I'm like, how did you? Wow. <laughs> Everybody, spuff self or friend or haunt a foe. Oh, so you get to do one. Uh, oh, okay. All right. So I think I'll stick with this one. I do like having Mysterion because I like, like, oh, I when I was fighting I um, uh, Morgan Freeman, uh, Nope, your turn is forfeit. See, that's, that's the thing about South Park is you can say that sentence. Yep, yep. <laughs> when I was fighting Morgan Freeman and he 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 um he bent time with his farts to bring his younger self in, uh, having um, that's a sentence he just yeah, said. Having Mysterion was great because he can die, and then once his ultimate comes up, uh, he can bring himself back to life again. But while he's dead, he can still debuff people. So oh, okay. I just had him constantly debuffing Morgan Freeman, and he's he's invincible when he's dead. So. Um, let's see. What do we do? Uh, let's do this one. Switch places, right? Pushes you back. Because I just had to do the, the, um, uh, I just had to do the fight in the police station, uh, where you have to get the characters. Let's see. Who, did somebody get hurt? Yeah, there we go. Uh, where you have to like put the characters in front of Cthulhu, essentially, uh -huh. uh, and and they just insta die if you don't. Um. That's so fucking lame. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen next? This birthday's full of surprises. <laughs> Try again, dork. God, fuck that guy so much. Trey Parker, man. The thing that's cool about this though is that like this that game, it, you know. Being a joke game, you could almost think about how um, it would almost make sense if if the combat system didn't hold up as well as it actually does. Uh, Those are some theatrics. Real nice effort there. Keep it fun. <laughs> but it does really hold up. Oh no! Time out. Watch, watch, watch on. That damn kid over there. How 
Oh no! Oh no, god. Don't call Henrietta a vamp. What's the difference? Oh god. What's the difference? Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty hard. We have a common enemy. Join us. I just like the fact that you could dress your character up so ridiculous that when you when you cut back over to the Oh shit, we get Henrietta! That's cool because uh Wendy was the only girl that you could get in the in Fractured no Behold. Oh, okay. um, so I'm glad to see that somebody else is in here. Wait, oh man, what is her? Okay, what she's got? Cigarette burn, <laughs> damage, and burn conformists. That's pretty great. Uh, she's got give attack, power Satanic up, seal. and <laughs> cleanse. And then what's this one? Heal target and grant life steal. Got a heat theme birthday party. Oh, because she's she's like a she's like a, a kind of buff and heal mostly. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna buff me next, Pat. It's go time, butt lord. Okay, so the let's goth see. The kids are so much fun. Yeah, they are. <laughs> nice. Deserve what comes to them. Ah, son of a bitch. Wait, why are you moving? You're better than these dorks, new kid. Uh, I think. That, I mean, I'm pretty sure the goth kids. Oh yeah, you had to do a thing in the main the game. Where you did something, I think, for the goth kids, and then they finally take selfies with you. Oh, okay. Um, you don't know the dark forces you're dealing with here. Try me. That's the other thing I like about this game is that there's like there's the things they say, uh, but they're still kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're like you're supposed to be the same character from the first one, right? Yeah. Yep. Life is pain. Okay, so she's like the boss. The hardest enemy in part one, or not part one, but Stick of Truth was um, was Al Gore. That motherfucker was so hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a thing where I was just like kind of tootling my way through the game and then like uh, fought Al Gore and was like, uh, I was like, fuck. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to go like grind. I was amazed I beat Al Gore the first time because it was just a lot of like desperately trying to keep him bleeding. Yeah. And that was the only reason I won. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that one. Good form, butt lord. <laughs> All right. You want darkness? I can do darkness. Uh, I've never, oh, I don't think I've ever done this before. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, I've only ever used his ultimate to like bring him back to life. I've never used it to actually just like straight up kill him. Oh wow. Wow, that was pretty cool. Oh no, no. It was actually. Nope. Cancel your turn. It's so well though. No, I am drained. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I have a really good feeling about this, Gadget. Uh, fuck it. Uh, let's do. I thought that was an interesting thing to do with, with Kenny. His, uh, his, his uh, Cthulhu backstory. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, all right. We beat up the vamp kids. We got a wait. We got a sopapia. Co oh, consumable. I thought that's a costume. I was like, no. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, all right, we got Henrietta character sheet. All right, that's cool. That I'm glad that they cool. they threw a new character in. I wonder if she shows up in the Henrietta can now be used in all previous and future save data. Oh, cool. that us. Yeah. It's some kind of medallion. Okay. Oh, so there's one, and then you need the others. Oh wow, you kids found one of the secret scavenger hunt vampire relics. Oh God. Or to get in the special party room. Boo. Cool, huh? I came up with it myself. We like that fun here. It looks like Al Borland. Yeah. Can't you just open it with a regular key? Sorry, this door has a vampire protection spell. Okay, so we're gonna have to go solve some stuff. How long has Kenny had a little sister? Um. I don't remember any of that. <laughs> I think he's had her for a long time, but like that was kind of part of his whole thing about Mysterion was like, cause Mysterion at first when they just did like, uh, when they first brought in Mysterion, it was just the kind of like, everybody is a superhero thing. And I think it was the very end where they revealed that Mysterion was Kenny, but then Mysterion returned when, um, they had the episode with, white people in danger or whatever or white trash where they send 
Kenny's sister to um, the Foster House where they all drink uh, warm Dr. Pepper and like their agnostic. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah. And then he shows up to uh, to rescue her at that point. So, OK, so we've got to find. Uh, I remember the first time the Mysterion thing happens. You're not even sure who it is. Right. Yeah. Just lifts it up and they're like, oh, I'm so glad he was one of my students. It's like, who? but I don't know who, they, who that is. <laughs> yeah. Because I think that um, I think that the first time, like when I think Mysterion like takes off his hood and like dramatically yeah, reveals it's just himself, his eyes. yeah, but it's the same South Park well, face. Yeah, but yeah, he does that, and it's just like, oh, I don't know who the fuck that's supposed to be. Yeah, but everyone else gasps. Yeah, and I remember at first, it's like, I, I guess we'll never find out. <laughs> oh wait, uh, oh hey, we can go in there, here now. Kids still crying. Okay. Uh, vampires rule this arcade. Oh, okay, so we're probably gonna have to to beat up the vampires. Oh, okay. With the treasure tornado. Combat advantage. Yeah. Suck it. Um. Uh, hey, it's those kids trying to ruin our party. Why there's so many vamp kids? Because <laughs> they're having a birthday party. Still, though, like, I didn't expect there to be that many in the city. Uh, let's see. Um. Oh, that actually is does a pretty fair amount of damage. Oh, well. Nope, you don't get to go. Uh. You don't get to go. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. That was kind of amazing. That okay. That you know. Oh god damn it! Fucking, he has garbage range. Oh wait, he can hit her from there. Society really did a number on you, Kenny. Uh, let's see. She can can she debuff? No, these are all buffs, and that's not going to do anything because of them. So I'm going to put life steal on Kenny. 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 Why are you so poor, Kenny? <laughs> yeah, that was that episode where, th with, where his daughter gets sent to the foster home or whatever, where Cartman, like, he realizes that he's poor, and then he, like, calls child services on his mom or something <laughs> to get a new family because he's ashamed of being poor. Um... Cartman, my God, the way Cartman is as a character always surprises me at how insane his plans like, are. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do we got? Oh, I can't get that far down, so I can just finish off her. <coughs> yeah, I think there was one. Uh, what there was like a there was like a much later, uh, a much later episode where. Somebody was like, "Oh yeah, it's Carmen. Don't make, don't piss him off. He'll make you eat your parents." And they were like, "What?" And they're like, "Just don't worry about it. Just, <laughs> just." Because that was like, I feel like that was there was stuff before that, but that was really the episode. This is the darkest thing he's ever. It was so dark. Where you know, uh, and, and and not only it's not only the fact that he did it, it's how he acts after doing it. Yes, yeah. Just like <laughs> I made you eat your parents. <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> yep. Well, then there was the reveal for what was it? There two? I don't remember what episode it was. It's like there's some odd hundredth episode. Oh, it turns Scott out like, Tenorman yeah, was his comes back. Brother. Yeah, I was like, fuck, that caught me. You off know what? That's weird because that's the <laughs> one episode that you can't watch online. Yeah, because it's that... because of the whole thing that happened with it. Which thing was that? It was the the Muhammad thing. Was that a, was that on that one? That's what that's what it was. Is that it was the? Because I think you can still watch Super Best Friends one. Yeah, because that's the thing is that like it was the final culmination of all that, mm -hmm. and they they were gonna show him and everything, and they had this whole speech about like about not being afraid and stuff that they just muted. Because I watched that episode of one it aired. Yeah, and they they just. Like a lot of the thing was they they didn't say Muhammad once. Like every time they did, like they would be muted. And so at first it seemed like it was part of the joke. Right. Like at first you're like, oh, that's the joke is that they're not allowed to say it in any way. But then you found out and it's like, no, Comedy Central heavily edited that episode. Yeah. And everyone was pissed, and they've never shown the episode again. 
Interesting. Ever since then. And the only way I know that you can fu- uh, you can watch it is you have to buy the DVD. Oh, uh, okay. And it's, and it's the only place that has it. Let's see. I don't even know. I Like, the thing is, I don't even know if it has, it's the unedited episode, because I haven't seen it again ever since it aired. Interesting. Okay. It was a crazy fucking episode, but it had a great ending. I didn't, I didn't actually think it was a very good episode, though. It was weird. It was, it was nutty, but it was kind of one of those just like, well, look at all the things from South Park that we're bringing in together. And, like, here's Mecha Streisand back, even though by the time they did that one, Mecha Streisand was so far in the past that, like... Yeah. I laughed really hard, though, at the way it ends, though, because Tom Cruise is like, I just want to be alone or whatever. He's like, we have the perfect place, and he's just dead next to that killer. <laughs> yeah. I laughed so hard when that happened. Can I, can I get whatever's in here? Oh, so, yes, so you have to win the relic by getting tickets. Uh, Okay. Fish, Fish Quest. Quest. The greatest game of all time. Oh, it's there. is this the... Yeah. Oh, it's yep. this thing. It's it's Kanye's game about his mom. Yeah. Um, I thought this was was this not in the main game or something? Like, or was this like well, an Adult Swim game or something? Because he's a, he's the gay fish on the back of the unicorn, and it's so it's totally a parody of that game. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. Because this is clearly like Flappy Bird, right? But you know what I'm talking about, right? No, I absolutely know what you're talking about, because Kanye had that whole thing that he wanted to make a game about his mom going to heaven or something. Yeah, yeah he did. He did. It came out, I think. Did it? I, I wasn't even sure if it came I out. I don't know. We were, we, I, I didn't feel the need to cover it on Rage Select. There was a huge uh, like controversy about this uh, game, though, because, uh, of, uh, because of what happened. Because uh, uh, <laughs> of the betrayal of his mom. <laughs> uh. Is that it? Are we fucking done with this shit? Oh, shit. Oh, now you gotta be afraid of Satan oh, or whatever. God damn it. Oh, th- Great, I got, got two, two tickets. tickets. <laughs> Who's Cal? K O W. We need to go find him and kick his ass. How many? So, do we just play a bunch of different games? Let's I guess so. Here. Oh, ski ball? Okay, hold the charge. Oh, God. <laughs> How fucking awful. I don't want to. Why is I, he shooting a ski ball out of I his ass? I don't want. Uh, what is happening? Use your hands, kid. Great. I think it's impressive oh. he can do that, but still. I mean, yeah, it's. Oh, shit. Whoops. Nope. <laughs> it is impressive, but. Oh, god damn it. It's just like fucking play regular, no regular ski ball. It's awful. Just like regular ski ball. There you go. How many tickets? I better get like How a many million. How many balls do you get from this? I can get oh, one it's more. Up there on the top right. Yeah. I see it. <laughs> Great. Casa Bonita. How many tickets do I get? Two. Uh, what, what's so, going on with that sad kid? This kid? Yeah, on the bottom see. right. Hey, buddy. The stupid machine ate my tickets. Okay, Aww. so see if we can. Help me get my tickets? Oh, oh, yeah, sure I open. can. Jam tickets. Oh, man, this sucks. Give him the tickets. Oh, okay, great. I had to do a take a selfie to give him his tickets back. That's very strange. Uh, okay. Yeah, all right, that's weird. We just made that kid's day or whatever. Uh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, if you're in the arcade, um, listen carefully. Do not beat my high scores. I repeat, do not beat my high scores. I'll be pissed. <laughs> okay. Wait, so if those are Cartmans, what does it stand for? I don't think those are Cartmans. Let's see. How much does he... Oh, okay. Five tickets. Oh, I mean five, and you have. Okay, and then wait. What exactly is Sombrero five. Bear? Sure to put a smile on the face of a crying child. Ah, oh, fuck. We're gonna need that too. <laughs> uh, fortunately, all these are garbage. Ooh, that's not total garbage. Those aren't garbage, but I've still got stuff that's better than those. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> I got some that's sweet, sweet tats. tats. Ah, it's son of a bitch. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to get the get enough to get the bear as well. So. Let's just do... <laughs> get away from there. Can I do Whack-A-Mole? I never get tired of that voice, no matter what character he does it with. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, I'm playing a lot of Bayonetta. This is just like fucking Angel Attack. Angel Attack! Uh, okay. Oh, so you're shooting Chupacabras. Yep. 
This one coming from behind here. This is actually looks like it would be fun in real life. No, n these games are never fucking fun. I think it looks fun. I, just, I think it looks like just total dick garbage. Uh, all right, what do we got here? Is got another some one chupacabras. Nope. I heard that one ate a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get that blood sucker. <laughs> the bald <laughs> eagle gets 100 points. Oh, man. I didn't realize that was going to go away so fast. Oh, Jackalope. Jackalope. Yep. Did you ever play that... Oh, uh, what was the Redneck Rampage? I think was the name of it. Uh, yeah, it was a terrible game. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but yep. I remember I played it as a as a, on my old PC <laughs> as a kid. Yeah, that shit was so weird. <laughs> so you just get two tickets no matter what the fuck. All right, fine. I guess, but that mean doesn't that mean like oh, I got there much easier? Maybe I, I got three. Uh, okay, let's do. I feel like this is the easier one to. I don't even know if that's true. Uh, <laughs> It's just kind of gross. Oh, well, yeah. You got the 50. Yep. Let's, Let's go for the 100 this time. Get the hundo. No. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Look at this. Farting out. I feel like if in real life, if anybody saw a child doing this, they'd be like, stop that and leave. Oh, they and would do not ever come back. They would kick him out pretty fast. Yep. <laughs> Okay, well, at least they don't. you don't have to be right on target in order to hit, hit the hundo. I just wonder, am I going to get more than two fucking tickets? Like, does it even I'm matter? Sure. Uh, okay, yep. All right. Well, at least that yeah. one ran. Yay, we did it! Sort of. Now we got three, three? That time. So how many do I have total? Six. And I need ten? Okay, let's just do more fucking fart, fart balls. Let's fart some more balls up in here. Ooh. Oh, come on. All right. Okay. Bart. This is very strange. <laughs> yeah, well, nothing. Oh, shit. No, that was just that way, one, that off one was way off base. Yeah. Um, well, at least it landed in something. Nothing about this game is not weird. So, oh, god damn it. That did not go in there. Yep. God damn. I had it. I lost oh, that it. That one didn't even fucking land in anything. Got cocky. Yeah. There we go. Get, come on, come on, fart lord. I think it's even stranger the way you're dressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Huzzah! I think you get us another, like, what, two, three? Maybe. Maybe three? Maybe three? Okay, three. so, so I guess you have to, more. I guess for every hundred, you get a ticket. Yeah. All right, so let's do, we just got to We just gotta get, get through this. We're all going to get through <laughs> this together, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. This is so weird. But the South Park, uh, that's just the okay. description of South Park in general. Well, we, we've done it. We've got enough for the bear in case we need that. Uh. Yep. 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 Uh, you know, I still maintain that, that South Park, that the Stick of Truth and Fractured Butthole are the greatest licensed video games of all time. They I absolutely mean, are some of the best. Like, before I, that, I mean, like, what else stands up? Like Riddick? Like, but even Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena, fucked up Riddick so hard that, like... Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I can't even say that as an un unqualified success anymore because it's, like, well, technically the first half of this game is good. Um, is this the kid who's crying? Yeah. Okay, well, here, have it. No, have the... <laughs> here, have it. Apparently you have to take oh selfies God. with them. Yay! Question mark? I'm trying to think of other like licensed games that aren't you know, like the, like the best licensed games like off the top of my head are you know the, these two South Park games. Yeah. Uh, Arkham Asylum, of course. Um, See, that's weird. I don't know if I would consider that to be licensed because it wasn't like a direct tie-in. Like it was, it was just Batman the franchise, I guess, as opposed to yeah. But it's still like licensed in some way. That's true. Like, 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 what is it actually? Uh, Wait, uh, well, let's let's start with that. Like, what is the definition of licensed for you? Well, to one? me, it has to tie directly into, to, like a movie, right? Like, uh, that's I guess, or like a TV show or something like that. Uh, all right, I gotta. Can we just please? Because I think Fighters is uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is probably one of the best licensed games. Fuck I've off. Ever played, if that's the case. <laughs> can I make him like move? 
I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's see. There's no way to glitch it. That's not, that wouldn't do anything. And there's no way to make him. How the fuck do we get in there? I don't know oh, wait, if you can uh, or, or not. is there like. Maybe, maybe it's the... something that happens later on. Is there a secret passage? No. A lot of times there'll be like a hole in the wall in the bathroom, but uh, and we already. I don't want to know what that that picture represents. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, Kyle's here. I wonder if he can do like some human kite thing. Can I go into the jail? No. I mean, usually everything that you can use in this game. Oh well, there's. This vampire kids. What does this kid want? He wanted coins. I mean, can I, like, give him coins? Oh, I gotta focus on my next wish. Yeah, but what? Maybe there's a specific type of coin or something. Oh, maybe we should go back out. Like, remember, because we, we did, there was still, like, the cash register here up front, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if things have changed at all. Let's see. Yeah, we still got that lady with her fucking coupons. Okay. I'm trying to see... There's something up with that, oh, that? receipt thing. Yeah. That didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> I wonder, like, if you, th you can't... I mean, like, a lot of times in the game, if you throw a... I mean, it seems like it's doing the fire thing, but it's just not... Yeah, it's just not doing anything specific when it yeah. happens. Oh wait, maybe wait, wait, hold on. Did did we try putting the um, putting the this up here so we could try to get like not into the I kitchen? Know uh, okay. <laughs> well, obviously we can walk on fire. Maybe, maybe. Oh yeah. Get all the way over here and grab. Needle ticket. Oh. Okay. Was that just another way to get into the the place? Maybe. And Because that appears to be all of it. Uh, all right, let's go back into the dining room. Also, we're getting, I mean, I just don't want to keep, uh, like, we're so, we're going really long yeah, on this one. It's just, I, I want to keep playing notice. it. Like, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Uh, uh, I guess we'll uh, beat up some more goth kids. I kind of wanted our character to get some some fresh new threads. But not a preppy conformist bitch. That should be entertaining. Uh... All right, that's a really good, a uh, really good one. Well, I never really watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I I saw the movie. For, uh, yeah, me too. I tried, uh, and then I thought that like the it, it it was real slow in the early seasons, and that's not to say that you know that there isn't anything good about it. But uh, wait, can she? Okay, she can't get down there, and there's going to be like all the other goth kids, and then okay, so let me go ahead and. Let's see about setting this one on fire. Aren't vampires immune to this? <laughs> Not in this canon. Yes, do life steal since you're at full health. It gives me like 40% of my meter when you do that. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to give him life steal. Jesus. So they, they all have some kind of like life steal, I feel like. They'll just beat the shit out of the coon. Yeah. This is coming together exactly how I planned. Shut up, Cartman. <laughs> nope. You don't get to go. Cartman is one of those powerful. those characters that I love to watch, but I would never want to hang out with them in any shape, way, or form. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> And then let's give him protection. This isn't the way that Jason says it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll finish this fight up and then see about like if we could find anything else like really quickly. But yeah, we're gonna have to wrap this up. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, play this shit. entire thing. Yeah, like, I, we we might just I, end up doing the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I would probably just sit here and play the go entire goddamn I kinda, thing. I kind of want to watch it to be honest. <laughs> yeah, uh, all <laughs> like, I can say I'm is so that silent because I'm just so enthralled by this. It just seems to me like if you're into if you're into if you were into the fractured behold. This is just more of that, and it's, that's that's and, perfectly great. You know, like it's not it's not doing anything different. It's not trying to put on airs. It seems like they've given you a new class, a new buddy, some new customization options. You know, all the shit that you some would more get out of Bonita. Yeah, exactly, and just more South Park. It seems like pretty much the same as. If you're watching this, by the way, and you live near a Casa Bonita, take a picture yeah, take a and a put picture. it in the comments. I don't know what the fucking. <laughs> This is what I think it looks like. It looks like a cartoon in my head. I didn't know Casa Bonita was a real thing. Yeah, it's, it's a real place. Jesus. All right. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, I just, I don't feel, okay, we need to find the coin or whatever. We got uh, cliff divers. We, we, I feel like we did everything that we could in the. Just can't get over the fact that they have cliff divers in a restaurant. <laughs> Do you guys have what any other person comes here and orders the like, country fried steak? That is a good question. That does sound pretty old. Find more vampire relics. Where? Uh did they say they said that there was hold on. Uh do they say search the lower dining room for a, a relic and search Black Bart's cave for a relic. So there's one down here. If we can figure this out quickly. Well, I figure I figure one of them is in the well. And one of them is okay. in Black Bart's cave. Because the, the, the well's the only thing that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Anything from my best super friend, but not counting you, Kyle. Oh, wait, I think I'm already friends with the human kite. Yeah, all right. Um, it has to be what's going on with with the, the fountain. Because uh, let's see, or not the fountain, but the well. Yeah, but where would we get a coin? Hey, that guy that was cleaning this table is gone now. Oh yeah. Uh, is there like a do I have a power that could do a thing? Kind of like glitch. Was there anything you can do to the ATM? Uh, oh, that's a good question. This is a fine dining establishment. Let's see. That doesn't seem that is way. There, is there anything on the left side? Wait, hold there's on. that is set there, of stairs there. Is that a little crack? Or okay. Um. Oh shit. Oh, oh god this damn! Is, this is the lower dining room. Then. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh shit! Are. Fuck off! <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I, I'm gonna let this go to a full-on hour, and then we're oh my god, we gotta defeat Chiquita, and the mariachis have all run off stage. Oh no! It's much harder to find a mariachi band up here than I thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. the gorilla says, "Let's just have a fun birthday party, okay?" Oh, so he's like telegraphing his stupid attack. Uh, nope. You don't get to go. That's such a powerful move when you get it. It seems pretty OP. Uh, well, you know, you can only do it once every three rounds. Quit screwing around, butt lord. I think it's a, some area effect tactics. I like how creative some of the fight, the attacks are, like with the little kid when he made the, the blood wings sp sprout out. Yeah. No, I... Um, like, the thing that's interesting is that all of the enemies in this game feel like... Oh shit, she's gonna get hammered. There's no way out of this one. Um, all the enemies in this game feel like there are generic enemies, but they all still feel like they have a fair amount of like personality. Yeah. Like I was doing a thing where, um, like, so one of the parts of the game is that Butters wants you to um, go to the bank to help him pay for pay his minions. So you know how. Um, in that one episode with the banker, it's like, and it's gone, like that, no. that whole thing. <laughs> uh, he does that. Like, the banker does that, and then um, you basically have to play a little mini game to try to get the money to be able to pay Butters' minions. Uh, and when you do that, you go outside, and um, the rednecks are out there, and they're like, uh, hey, he's paying minions. They took her germs. And there's like, and the other guy's like, wait, I thought we were... 
I thought we were mad about his sexual orientation. You're like, no, those are the other guys. And they are. They are the other guys. Like, the they took our jobs guys are the different from the guys in Skeeter's Bar that... Uh, uh, that are like, we don't take kindly to oh, you <laughs> folks around here. Like, those are different characters. And I was just like, holy shit. Um, okay, so let's see here. Targeted team of life steal and attack up. Should have a revive. Ham radio. Oh, yeah, it's Ned and Jimbo. Cheesing. Coon cakes. Antidote. Appreciate it. Revive serum. There we go. Uh, Henrietta. There we go. <laughs> I thought I signed a do not resuscitate form. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn to express myself. Oh, wait. Have we seen her ultimate yet? I don't think we have. Damages all enemies and heals allies. Okay, let's just see it. Seems like a the good black mass. Nice. Oh, and heals yourself too. Yeah, heals heals allies and uh, yep. So let's get rid of this one and uh, kill off the the uh, Chiquita gorilla. God, he's, got, he's got a lot of hit points. Yeah. Chiquita the gorilla hates to see vamp kids not having a good time. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, so it's one of these. Um, all right. Let's see if we can get rid of thin out some of these. So it's going to be one of those ones where you, you they just keep on sending in waves of until damn beat, kids. Until you beat Chiquita. Yeah. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Let's just do. Yeah. It's a, you know the thing is that it's like the other thing that I always I've always been really impressed about is that. This shit isn't a, it's not a, just a cakewalk. Like, you do kind of have to pay a little bit of attention. It's not like Dark Souls or anything, but like, it, you can't just play, you can't just kind of not pay attention and then expect to get anywhere in this particular game. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an actual, up, like, honest to goodness RPG. It's not, it's not some sort of, like, quick buck kind of thing. No Let's see. One less in the world. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Because you can set up, I always like games where you can set up that kind of like, that kind of like um, combo stuff. It's one of the reasons I like Fire Emblem so much, or uh, like uh, Persona, right? Oh, it's because yeah. Persona does that whole thing about like um, setting up like chain attacks to like weaken the character, and then your other character gets to go. It's like, you remember, did you play um, um, the uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, uh, Sharp FE? No, I did not. The Wii U game? Where it was like the the persona or the Shimagami Tensei uh, Fire Emblem crossover game. Yeah, I remember. I remember when it came out, and I was really excited, but I just never ended up getting it. Because um, by the time I realized it was out, I was like, "Oh, I just don't have the money at this point." Yeah, it was really interesting because there was a whole set that you you a whole set of uh, attacks that you were able to kind of, as the game went on. Uh, chain different characters' attacks together, and so by the end of the game, you would do one attack with one. Oh no 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 no! You don't get to go. One attack with one character that would lead into like eight additional attacks happening from that one attack from that one character. Um, so it was pretty amazing. That's right, new kid. Channel your rage. Yeah, because I, I like when an RPG gets you involved with it more than anything. Because it's not like, you know, most turn-based ones where you just attack and then you just sit back and let it go. Yeah. It's like, no, you have to be paying attention to the combinations it's asking you to do. Which is why I was a big fan of, like, say, Super Mario RPG. Uh, the you know, I never played Super Mario, Mario RPG. It's, it, it was one of the first games that really did do something like this where you have to, like, hit buttons at the right time to do an attack. Yeah. It's probably one of the first games that I, that I know that I ever played that did something like that. And all of the other Mario like games they came out with recently still keep that up, kind of thing. Uh, like, that's, like that, like those games are the closest to this that I can think of right off the top of my head. Besides, you know, like Persona and them. Yeah. Because oh oh okay. But Mario is more is the most like um yeah the Mario games are the most um mm, like what's the word I'm looking for. 
participation heavy. Uh huh. I guess is the best way of putting it. Yeah, because it asks you that like if you hit at this right time, you get more damage, and right. when you do a super, you gotta. Which like, is interesting do this because and this and that. Like in the first game, I had a real problem with that while we were playing it on the dojo, but then eventually I kind of got the okay. So we got our <laughs> Money relic. Just came back. <laughs> Lower dining room. So Black Bart's cave is the only one. Is the only one left. So now we just gotta figure to get in there. Uh, hold on. First, we gotta open up their fucking birthday presents and take them for ourselves. Because <laughs> fuck a bunch of that. Oh my god, you guys. Hey guys, can I get a selfie? Can I come up here with you? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh no, sorry, I can't. Oh no. Wait. Oh no, that was just that one. Oh. Anyway, uh, we're, we're at an hour, so I, I, we just have to stop because yeah, I, we're I'll just keep, keep going. Yeah, keep playing this uh, until it's done. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you fucked up. <laughs> like to help us out, uh, we got a Patreon, Patreon.com forward slash uh, Rage Select. Uh, I tell you what. I will I will save my game right here. I actually had another game set up for for uh, for us to play on Patreon, but maybe we can continue playing this. Like I'm just I, having I a really good time playing this. this. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're gonna do the we'll play more of this on Patreon. Hopefully, it's not almost done. Uh, but uh, well, yeah, even if it is, you know, we we got an hour free. So <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, <laughs> got that pinata. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, Patreon.com. Like, subscribe. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think. And, ooh, can I get a selfie? He made Chiquita the gorilla feel a little better after making him feel way worse. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Here's a gorilla selfie. Oh, by the way, you can find me on one of us. I'm net. sorry, Michael. <laughs> it's been so long. We just been, we just sit here for a whole hour. We have, yeah. You can find me on one of us. Uh, Thank you. Reviewing movies and such. Yes, go right. check it out. <laughs> Link's down below. Uh, if you want to see more ice Patreon, oh wait, we gave him the ice. Oh, so that's why. That's why we gave the ice. That. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Bye.